My name is Drake Moscow. This is the Lexus LC500 convertible, and this week I'm going to see what it's like to live with. All right, first thing I'm going to do in the Lexus LC500 convertible is head to the gym and then actually to the grocery store too, so we can see this LC500's convertible storage space. I just arrived at the gym and you know one thing that kind of sucks about having a car that's this nice is you feel like you have to park all the way at the back of the lot and then on days where it's kind of rainy and gloomy like today you have to walk in the wet mm. first world problems am i right all right done at the gym i got my vaccine like three days ago my first uh covid vaccine and uh my arm's still still a little sore so that was a little interesting but now to the grocery store to see how this LC500 can hold groceries, or if it can even hold everything I want to get. All right, let's see if there is enough space. So here's the trunk. As you can see, it is very small, and already I'm seeing a problem. This is the windscreen that I took out, and it's covering the entire floor. I don't even know if this, let's try and put a bag in here. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, everything's gonna have to go in the back seats. So here are the back seats of the LC500 convertible. They are tiny, mostly just storage, which is what I'm gonna do right now with my groceries. Though later this week, I am going to test to see if you can actually fit four people in the LC500. It's, it's gonna be a squeeze, but yeah, these back seats will suffice for my groceries because literally, that trunk is so shallow that nothing was gonna fit. Though in the coupe version, it would have a bigger trunk, but because this is the convertible, the trunk is very, very small. All right, day two with the LC500 convertible. I'm actually heading to my mom's office to help her move some stuff out of there. All right, I'm here at my mom's office, so let's see how the LC500 can do moving some things to Goodwill. All right, so you may be able to tell I am not in the LC500. I'm in like my family's Corolla, uh, just running things to Goodwill. So I'm going from one of the most expensive Toyota Lexus products to one of the cheapest Toyota Lexus products. But yeah, the Corolla just has way more space to carry things. <laughs> I'm done at my mom's office. Uh, yeah, the LC didn't really come in all that useful on the trips to Goodwill. Uh, had to use the Corolla, but I am bringing some stuff home. I've got some boxes here with me, but now back home. Okay, day three with the Lexus LC 500 convertible. I just filmed the review part, uh, or the driving part of the review at least, uh, which will probably already be up on my YouTube channel if you're watching this, so feel free to go watch that video. But now there are some great roads around here. I'm gonna go for a drive and see what this LC500 can do. Day four and it's finally sunny here, so you know what that means? Yeah, the top is going down on the trip into town. I'm just, I'm heading to the gym again. Yes, it's actually like in the 50s, but Lexus's climate concierge shall keep me warm on the trip. Yes. This car with the top down is incredible. But now I'm at the gym, so I'm gonna put it up while it's parked. It's a really quick mechanism. I like that about it. It's really easy to put it up and down. And you can do it up to 31 miles an hour, so it's great. I got the windows. All right, time to work out. Done at the gym. And time to put this top back down. This car, this car.
day six. Uh, I didn't film anything yesterday because I really didn't do anything yesterday. But today I am heading in to pick up my friends and we're gonna see what it's like to fit four people in this car. We're gonna have to put the roof down and it's kind of cold, it's like 41. So that's gonna be interesting, but it should be a blast. Why is there even a backseat? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I gotta move back a little bit. <laughs> no, dude, dude, I'm crushed. Put your seat forward. All right, all right, dude, that's literally all you I got. Just a little bit. Dude, my, I literally can't move. That's literally all I got. Just, oh, can you, can, you can, no, no, not the yeah, seat, so you like, like, move back and you, like, sit yeah. forward. What is this? Oh, it's pretty cool. It's way back by, yeah, right there. You don't, right there. Man, you don't need one, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Here, put your, like, you can, like, scoot your, like, dude, I'm gonna back to, like, crash. back on. Die. <laughs> Look, my right. head's out the top. This is this is sick. This is a sweet car, though. Yeah. A few moments later. There this is a stupid car. This is a stupid <laughs> car. Oh, yeah, get in, bro. <laughs> yeah. What the f are you doing here? Damn. I'm in the video. <laughs> oh, you're in the video. <laughs> a million people are gonna see this video. I gotta, you know, I gotta dress up. Hop in, bro. Hop in. Hop in. You, you fit. Yo, it's nice. We're going for a little ride. ride. <laughs> we're going for a little ride. There's no way you're gonna fit. There's no way you're gonna fit. It's, yeah, no. We're so fast. <laughs> Why is my heated seat on? Yeah. This is f***ing hot. Drake got it for the week. You gotta figure out how to turn off. What is with this? Um, this yeah. So terrible. you go there and then you go to concierge. No. No, no, back. It's I know it's so bad. So bad. Climb it. Don't click on climb it. Concierge, and then turn it off. Now it's off. Wait, it's off. And now, and now you can go to. I didn't do anything. How's it well, off? Well, it's off. And now you can turn your heated seat off by going to that. Wait. Seat and steering. Yeah. You said it was off. It's definitely no, no, not off. No, the climate concierge is off. Click it, and oh. then yeah, and then you go Wait. You swipe. Oh. <laughs> 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 Having driven the LC500 convertible for about a week now, I've come away with a few conclusions. The biggest of which is that this car was not designed to be daily driven. I mean, the interior is pretty small. It's a large vehicle, so it's kind of hard to maneuver around tight parking lots. And it's just not very practical for day-to-day -day use. But that wasn't what it was designed for, and that's not what I think most buyers will use this car for. Most buyers of the LC500 convertible will probably have one, two, maybe even three other vehicles, and this will just be something they take out on the weekends to enjoy some back roads. Another thing I realized is that because this car is so beautiful, everybody looks at you when you're driving in it. You get so much attention because it is so expensively styled and it has such a rich sounding exhaust. Everybody knows there is something special about this car and so you get a lot of attention. And while that might get annoying if you're daily driving the LC500 convertible like I have been the last week, if it's your second or third car and you're only taking it out every once in a while, that can be pretty cool. Over the past seven days, I've averaged 17.9 miles per gallon. Now I was driving pretty enthusiastically and the car was idling a lot while I was getting shots and stuff like that. Now if you get the coupe version of the LC500, there is a hybrid version on offer that has better MPG and uh, less carbon emitted and stuff like that. But what I think would be really cool is if Lexus made an electric LC500. That would be amazing. Now, Toyota in general has been a bit reluctant to adopt electric cars. They're launching their first electric car actually uh, this weekend. And I think if they made an electric two-door Cooper convertible, huge luxury Cooper convertible, that would be amazing. I personally would really love to see that vehicle. But overall, I'm so happy that Lexus decided to make the LC500 and the LC500 convertible. They are beautiful statement pieces that represent what Lexus is capable of. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and make sure to check out my full review of the LC500 convertible, which is already out on my YouTube channel. I'll catch you guys in the next video.